Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1525. Hey, we're still talking about dynamic arrays, and we got to figure out if we can use conditional formatting on dynamic arrays. Well, sort of. And the dynamic arrays that we see in this video are only in Office 365. Actually, if you're not in Office 365, you don't have to worry about some of the complications. If we go over to the sheet 1525, we use sort and unique and index to extract whichever column is selected here, a unique sorted list. Here we use sum, ifs, index, and the notation to refer to a spilled array. If I change this to product, I get a different set of row headers. Sales rep, the reports back to totals for sales rep. What we want to look at is conditional formatting. Now, right off the bat, I went ahead and tried to make a formula equals, and that's a spilled array. So if I click on the cell that holds the spilled array and type pound, that refers to the whole spilled array, whatever size it might be. And I'm going to ask the question, are any of you less than the hurdle? Now, this is a spilled array, so when I hit Enter, It'll give me the logical formula I would like to put into the dialog box for conditional formatting, and it spills it. We see we get one true. Now, my first reaction was to simply take this formula, copy it, highlight the spilled array, go up to conditional formatting, new rule, or I can use the keyboard Alt-HLN. I want use a formula to determine which cells to format. I hit page down to get to that. I can click in format values where this formula is true or hit tab. Control V. I forgot the equal sign. Now I'm going to add some format like yellow. Click OK. I'm hoping this will work. It's referring to the whole spilled array. Click OK. It doesn't work. And the problem with conditional formatting when your formula yields an error is you can't see it. Now I'm going to Control Z. The next thing I tried is I simply said, OK, let's just see if I make a formula, a manual formula, looking at cell references, and I'm going to lock it. That way I can copy this down. And just like we would with normal formulas, we'd copy this formula, highlight the range, Alt-HLN, Page Down Tab, Control-V. Look at that, I forgot the equal sign again. Format, yellow, or whatever. Click OK. Wow, OK, so that's working. Now let's test it. This is a value less than the hurdle. We're going to change the name to Bob. Well, Bob shows up, but now Zippy, which is not in the range we selected when we did conditional formatting, doesn't get the conditional formatting. All right, I'm going to Control Z. So the only way I could think of to do this is I'm going to highlight a bunch of cells below, just like we did in the old days with dynamic range defined name formulas. We would highlight a range that was bigger than anything we thought would be necessary. I'm going to highlight that and create a formula. The only problem is if I ask, is that cell right there less than 300, these are all empty cells, and formulas treat empty cells as zeros. So all of those will get the formatting. All right, so I'm going to have to get tricky. I'm going to use that in an AND logical test, comma. And then the second one, not is blank. Are you not empty as a relative cell reference? Close, close, close. And that formula, Control C, Control Enter, and copy it down. Now I get what I want. I'm going to select the range, Alt O D, because I actually want to delete this one first. It's new rule. And then Control V. I forgot <laughs> the equal sign three times. All right, so now I could get my yellow. Click OK, click OK. Now if I change this to Bob, poor Zippy gets tagged because Zippy was less than the hurdle. All right, so that was a, a little experimenting, I guess, with the brand new dynamic arrays and conditional formatting. All right, if you like that video, be sure to click that thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe because there's always lots more videos to come from Excel is Fun. All right, we'll see you next video.